All right, so here I have a polynomial x squared plus 10x plus uh, 21 over x plus 3. This line here tells us which math operation. It's division. So this division sign, we're just going to write as a division bar. And I'm going to connect this to basically what we did before. So here I have x squared plus 10x plus 21. And we're dividing that by x plus 3. And we did have these steps, and we just did a warm up problem on regular division. <coughs> so, class, what's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to divide. Now, what do you divide? You divide x into x squared. So, I'm going to do a side problem. This is a great way of starting the problem. x squared divided by x. How many times does x go into x squared? It goes in x times. So how do I know that? x times x over x. And you just cancel this out. Essentially, that's what you're doing over here, 26 over 25, that was the example we just did. Okay, So x goes in x squared x times. So I'm going to write the x right here. Now I chose to write the x here and not here as you'll recognize that they fall into columns. <laughs> you see that with my pen? All of these will be x's, all of these will be x squareds, and all of these will be constants. So we just divided, and now we're going to multiply. Class, what's x times x? <laughs> and x times 3 is? Now, 3x falls underneath the 10x because they're like terms. Okay, we just multiply. Now what are we going to do? Now, <coughs> this is probably the hardest part, I think. Starting and then subtracting is the hardest part. So I've been using the red pen. I showed you my red pen over here. I'm going to put this in parentheses, and I'm going to put the my sign. You have to think that all of these now, <coughs> it's the inverse of all of these. So watch how I do mine. x squared minus x squared is 0 x squared or 0. Class, we write 0. No. Um, 10x minus 3x. 7x. Now we're going to bring down. Now I have plus 21. And then we're just going to repeat the cycle. How many times does x go into 7x? <coughs> Your answer is 7. You're just simplifying that. Does that make sense? So I put a plus 7 up here. You'll notice, again, they're all constants, all x's, all x squareds. 7 times x is 7x. And 7 times 3 is... Now we're going. We multiply. Now we're going to subtract. Seven minus seven is zero. Twenty-one minus twenty-one is zero. So we have a remainder of zero. My quotient is x plus seven. So this is the answer. When you divide these two polynomials, your answer is x plus seven. And I just want to show you guys um, why that. If you checked your answer, that pen's dying. Don't die. Class, how would you move this binomial to the right side? You would multiply both sides by x plus 3, right? Does that make sense what you're doing there? These two would cancel, and then we already learned to multiply the binomials by using FOIL. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you would get this answer. Instead of multiplying, now we're just doing division.